So we're at the Squire Patton Boggs uh, lawyer firm in Palo Alto. Uh, we're connected here by Hugh and Richard Horton. We met Matteo, who's one of the leading Silicon Valley lawyers here. This was probably one of the best tie-up meetings we've had so far. He's suggested a certain structure we can use to make it viable here. Interestingly, he's, uh, he knows Seth Cohen. Seth Jones, sorry. Seth Cohen. <laughs> Seth Cohen. Keep talking. Seth Jones. And um, he works with Swinburne. He's worked with Swinburne before. Okay. So there's a connection there. And it has been a fantastic meeting in terms of um, how to corporate structure the actual venture right. and making it a reality. Uh, there's actually a proven process to do what we're doing um, and it involves um, getting a good board of advisory locally, setting up a company here. I'm doing a pilot with a big company here too, it will definitely help. Um, and we don't necessarily need the full working scale prototype at this stage. Okay. Ultimately, you know, when you go to market, it's to be acquired, right? Of course. So, yeah. I, I look, I do something for you. Okay. Video, okay. Taking, I sketch. All right. Back. Okay. <laughs> no, this, this, this how I love this. I love this man. By yeah. Okay. This, okay. this is how this is how I explain it to all the. You okay. know, I work with a lot of foreign companies. So okay. This is how Silicon Valley works. Okay. okay. So startup cycle. This is time. And this is like. A, you know, revenue or users or some kind of metric, okay? So, Silicon Valley has got a lot of big companies that are like fish. <laughs> yeah, fish that swim. Big fish, yeah. Good fish, not sharks. And, and they, they remain big by eating startups, uh -huh. right? they innovate by eating startups. You think about, mm. you know, even Facebook, you know, 10-year-old mm. company, yeah. but it was born 10 years ago and they were like, this didn't exist, there was no smartphone, right? There mm. were laptops. If Facebook had remained the same as 10 years ago, it wouldn't exist anymore. So in order to remain relevant, they've acquired, you know, WhatsApp, they've acquired a lot of technologies that make them relevant on, you know, smartphone. Mm. Same thing for all the other big companies. They acquire people, and teams for their ideas and technologies to remain relevant and grow. Mm -hmm. The problem is that, so they, they do it in an area, they acquire startups that have some metric, right? Not, not here, rarely here. Usually it's called the M&A zone. Companies that have proven some results they're not too big, otherwise they become right. a fish themselves. Right. <laughs> well, this is true. So, <laughs> what's a, a, a normal company, a normal company, no, it's not fun, it's, it's real. So a normal company grows like this. Yeah. It takes a long time because it's your investment, it's your time, it's yeah. your, like you've been working this for four years. Pinch, no, no revenue, no, mm. you know, own mm. funds. Mm. The industry moves so quickly that by the time it, you, you arrive here, the fish is already, is already here, right? So you never meet the fish. Mm. So the goal is to grow like this. So that, you know, you're, you're at T0 here, you arrive at T1, where you meet the fish. So how do you do that, right? So this, this delta here is the money you need to raise. <laughs> <laughs> to, ac that, huh? to accelerate the growth, mm -hmm. in injection of like steroids. <laughs> uh, that, that's what it is. <laughs> so, so what, but right now, so there are different phases of fundraising, right? There is idea, there is alpha, there is beta, and then there is you know, go to market, or uh, you know, expansion. You can, if, you, if you're here and you say, you know, in 20, 2019, you know, this is Tesla, and Tesla's going to buy us, uh, and, but we need to raise, you know, $20 million to, to get to a point where we have, uh, you know, enough metric that Tesla acquires. Nobody's going to give you $20 million today, right? So you have to do it in phases. So you've done this, now maybe you are here now, like maybe, you know, you, this is your sweat equity you put in for four years. You have kind of a concept of a prototype. Next phase is to, okay, then how do we 
get a beta, you know, how do we maybe get a prototype in production, you know, a real, not just a, it's a nice picture, but it's mm. still a picture, right? Mm -hmm. You want to make a real thing. In, in an industry like yours, this phase here, usually you do a pilot, pilot program with, with a partner, right? It's difficult to raise money because it, yeah, at, this, at this point in time, the company is more like this, at this point in time, nobody knows how much the company is worth. So you do a pilot with a partner, and then, you know, with the results of the pilot, you can go to VC and raise the expansion capital. Because at this point, you know that the company is worth, like, this much. So, you know, you can give the VC, like, 25% for, you know, 10 million, and the company is worth 40 million, let's say. Because wh why can we say it's worth 40 million? Because maybe there's been a successful pilot with Tesla about this technology. But today, we can't tell. So the only way you go from, from here to here, this area here, you need to have some kind of pilot. And then to, how do you get this? You know, you need to have people and IP. You have the IP. Now here you need, like as I said, an advisory board that can give you the contacts, uh, contacts, and also credibility or reputation. Right? Because if you go knock on the door of Tesla tomorrow, they're gonna say this. Okay, good, nice idea. You know, come back when it's ready. It's gonna be difficult for them to accept you. You know, even here in Silicon Valley. There are barriers for entry, but that's that's kind of how it works. So before fundraising, you gotta focus on more of the sort of next phase of uh, you know early stage, you know beta, and then you know in in this phase, you know companies can raise some money. It's called like seed capital. Usually they're like convertible notes, meaning they're loans that convert into stock. So, you know, investors give you money. They don't know really how much they're going to buy of the company because it's difficult to give a value. And so they give you a loan that's convertible into stock. And that loan will convert later on here. When there is a fixed valuation, then you know that this loan maybe at that point is going to be, uh, you know, 5%. But right now, you know, nobody knows how much the company is worth because there's no metric. And so they usually may, maybe give you half a million or a million dollar in convertible note. But VCs, they're not going to give you money now yeah. because they only give money for expansion phase, not for seed phase. So the best source now is to find a, a commercial partner that can you know, help you go to market and maybe give you some seed money. An advisory board. Yeah, advisory board and then, you know, maybe... A, a, all, all these companies, all these you know, car manufacturers have like investment arms. They can give you maybe you know half a million dollar convertible note if you show up with with really good technology, a good team, and a strong advisory board. Then that's that's how much they would give you. But no more. Don't expect millions because it's a phase. You know, it's called you know phased in you know capital raising. Okay, that's it. That's how it works. That's wow. 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 <laughs> oh, can I take a photo? Oh, man. Let's take a photo. <laughs> <laughs> this guy knows what he's talking about, right? This guy. Well, you know, I've been doing this for enough that uh, I enough can times. Sum uh, summarize everything. No, I like the fish to tell you the truth. I like the fish. You, you know, made it really fish. clear. Yeah. Like, you basically filled in some of the gaps I was talking to you about. Yeah. Like, the, the pilot partner yeah. is going to tell you yeah, what they want. Yeah, they're going to tell you. It's not going to be really so much your decision because if your partner is Tesla, they may say, okay, we give you funding to build a car. But if your partner is BMW, they may say, well, we, we, only, we don't care about a car. Yeah, we but, only care about the yeah. shock absorbers. Or the battery. So it really depends yeah. on who the partner is.